Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about how to add the items. In this session, we will discuss about how the admin will add the salesperson and admin can update the stock. Right, we will discuss it in this session. So, here you can check it out. Just I will try to execute my project and the admin will log in with his username and password. And then, uh, admin will add the item types we already completed. Admin will add the items we already completed. Admin will add the salesperson. So I already designed one screen like employee number, employee name, password, address, phone number, hint, and add employee. And here I already created one stored procedure to create an employee. Create procedure, procedure name, at the rate EID, where can, at the rate ename, at the rate password, at the rate address. These all are the input parameters. There are nearly six columns are there in my database. So I declared six input parameters. And this is the procedure to insert, uh, create an employee. Right. And in order to uh, add the salesperson, I already written the code for that. I'll just explain the code. Here, in order to view that page, you just go to view solution explorer. And um, here you can see add salesperson.cs. This is the design code and here you simply double click and um, I have written one method here something like auto generate employee number where I want to auto generate the employee number the time of creating an object for auto generate class and calling auto generate id method the time of calling the method we are passing what employee class as the input parameter if you want I will keep the breakpoint so that you will understand how it is working so here you can say we'll just log in right so admin will add the salesperson so here automatically this method has been called creating an auto uh, object for auto generate class and the written type of auto generate id is int so the result of the method we are storing in where int and here you can check the query select count of star from employee so the result is initially zero but now i think already one record is there so it will show the result as one so one plus one is what two written i right and uh, here e number is string e number underscore plus two so the next employee number is e number underscore two display the output in the text box control we are calling that method in the load form load right and it display the employee number and i will try to insert some name something like some rahul password uh, or uh, password i'll give as jaydeep and address I'll give something like Hyderabad and phone number double eight double eight double eight. Hint I will write something like phone number. All right. Click on add employee. Whenever you click on add employee, button one underscore click will fire. Create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure. Mention that we are working with stored procedure, and here we are setting the values for the parameters: employee number, employee name, password. Uh, address phone number and the hint and uh, execute non query if the query is executed successfully it will return one and it will display the message saying that rahul is added and in this program i declared uh, if you observe clearly i declared some try catch blocks also i written the entire code inside the try block so whenever an, any exception will occur the control will automatically switch to catch block and catch block will handle the error message and it will display the error message to the users that if you want to display the user friendly error messages you can display as you already know that exception is nothing but what a runtime error that is how i hope you understood about how to add the salesperson it is similar like how you worked with add item types and add items so the next important screen here is update the stock right the role of admin is to update the stock which is the major screen in our project so i designed in this uh, video i will try to explain i will make you to understand uh, how to update the stock right so automatically here you can see when i click on update stock i want to open that form so i want to design this form so i already designed the form for you update stock.cs and i will try to explain about this screen here you so 
here we are developing a project for a particular food court that is available in a college as we discussed initially right so after developing this application we will install this application in the food court and if day to day admin will bring the items to that food court and he will update the items later sales person will make the sales so you need to understand here about this uh, screen right here in the update stock screen you have to write lot of programs here program number one is uh, auto generate we need to auto generate stock id we need to auto write the program to auto generate the stock id and display in text box one so here let us assume i want to display something like uh, uh, t underscore some transaction t underscore one right and program number two is bind all the item types bind all the item types from item from item master table from item master table if you observe clearly already we have item master table in item master table we are having what item type your item type is what pizza burger cool drink all the things puff i want to display all the stuff in my uh, combo box one so bind all the item types from item master table and display in combo one in combo box one right next here you can check it out the um, the program number three what i want to write here is i want to whenever user selects whenever the uh, admin is selecting uh, pizza here i want to display all the pizza items in the combo box two and when admin is selecting pizza I want to display veg pizza as well as chicken pizza. If we selecting um, burger, I want to display veg burger and chicken burger. So that is my next requirement. So program number three is bind the selected items in combo box two. In combo box two, based on item type. I want to display only the specific items in where combo box two. If we selecting, uh, if the admin is selecting cool drinks, I want to display only cool drinks in the combo box two, like Sprite, Thumbs Up, Coke, etc. That is my third requirement. My fourth requirement is, for example, whenever the admin is selecting veg pizza, and here I, I admin is adding the stock. Today he bought twenty. Uh, veg pizzas to the food court now he is adding the 20 and when he leaves the text box quantity text box i need to bring the price of that particular item price of veg pizza from items table that is program number five four what is the requirement whenever control leaves whenever the control leaves quantity text box Whenever control leaves quantity text box, then uh, get the price of the item, price of the item, and uh, store in one variable. Store in some variable. Is it clear? Why I want to store that in one variable means later once when user leaves the quantity text box, I want to display the total amount in amount text box for example if the price of veg pizza is 60 rupees quantity is 20 rupees so 60 into 20 rupees how much 1200 rupees here i want to display 1200 rupees in the amount text box that is my requirement and finally display uh, total amount display total amount in amount text box in amount text box that is program number four you need to write all the programs program number five is whenever user clicks on update stock button right i need to we need to update the quantity in items table if you observe clearly initially at the time of adding the items we inserted the quantity as zero now because at that moment the, the main role of admin is deciding that what type of items you want to sell in the food court but now he is updating the stock for example if the admin wants to update some uh, 20 veg pages today he bought 20 veg pages 
we need to store these 20 veg pizzas in the food court at that moment it needs to update the quantity in items table you have to understand whenever user clicks on button you have to do two types of operations one is you need to update the quantity from item step text box and other one is you need to insert the items in stock transaction table these two things we need to do right here whenever user clicks on that's what i'm doing whenever user clicks on update stock button update stock button we need to update we need to update quantity in items table in items based on some item name or item number based on item name and we need to insert and we need to insert stock we need to insert the stock in stock transaction table that is the requirement so we need to um, develop all this requirement i hope that you understood the requirement what we have to do in update stock right and um, here if you observe that we need to generate auto generate the stock id most in the next video i'll explain how to update the stock right uh so for uh, more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel as well as uh, i have my personal facebook group that is www.facebook.com/group/worldof.net right in the next video we'll discuss about how to write the programs for update stock right thank you have a nice day